25, and today I'm just going to show you a quick update. My Friday the 13th Part 4 costume. I actually haven't really actually done a video of this costume. Um, or I haven't really had any Friday the 13th costume stuff on, so I'm just telling you I'm working on a Part 4 costume and uh, a Part 6 costume at the moment. Part 6, so far all I have is the pants, and I guess, yeah, I have the shirt. But I'm planning on getting a second one so I can keep that one perfect and then make the other one have stuff on it. Which is normally what I do with shirts. So, uh, these pants I have, they're kind of like dress pants. Uh, they look like they do in the movie. These are just, see, this is the original color right here. This is part, part four pants. Fart. Oops, sorry. Um, well, anyway, I, what I just did actually is about a half an hour ago did this. The, uh injury right there. I think it looks pretty good. It's not like completely perfect, but it's perfect enough for me. I'm trying to get as accurate as possible. And uh, I'm going to get the devil latex. Um, I'm going to get the devil's latex latex mask. Um, the, ki the kid sized hood, which isn't small. It's like teenager size is what it means. And um, I'm going to get that. It's like $56, I believe. Um, so I'm going to get that and then a guy, he, well he's 17, um, he's making me a replica of a part, um, part 5 mask, and, um, yeah, so, I'll use, for my part 4, what I'm gonna have is these pants, uh, I'm, I need to get a shirt, um, uh, off Amazon, there's one that looks just like it in the movie, pretty much, or pretty close, like, really close, so I'll have that, and then I'll have these pants, and then I'm gonna get the double latex skin color hood, with the mask the guy's making me, I'm going to get a machete off of Amazon, and then, um, and I'll, that'll probably be pretty much it after I do some editing on the pants and the shirt when it comes, and the mask will be, it's got, it, the mask is based off of the bathroom scene, if you remember when he smashes the guy's face up against, in the bathroom, if you don't remember this, you probably don't know what I'm talking about. But it shows his face really quick, I mean Jason with his mask on, and just for like a split second after crushing his face into the, into the, well he crushed the back of his head, but he like squeezed his head. But uh, uh, after doing that, he, um, it just showed him real quick and then went to the next scene. But uh, yeah, so that's what this is based off of, and uh, here's a picture real quick. Uh, the part four mask that my friend is working on. Uh, the picture there is, he's not completely done with it there. He's, uh, I think he was going to do a little touch-ups uh, on it and uh, put some more yellowing. I mean, not much yellowing, but just a little. And, you know, kind of do a little touch-ups. And then uh, on the other side, that is the one from the movie. That is the picture I'm talking about. Just shows him for a split second. So that is the mask that I will be getting soon. Alright, so uh, that was the picture of the mask, um, the part 4 mask of what one the mask is going to be based off of. And, uh, yeah, so, I know that. I'll shoot some other pictures in that. So, what I did for this, um, since I didn't, um, do a video on it, of course. Uh, what I did is, sorry it's kind of dark, but, uh, right here on the cut, I'll get a better view of that. Alright, so right here on the cut, um, see here, uh, what I did is I had this knife and I just like went like that and cut down and I uh, kind of made it look thread and it looks real. And so what I did, well this is black, so I did, I uh, spray painted this just like on the top and it ran down and I did it again and then I kind of wiped it with um, a rag. And then this is like a darker color, which I don't have very much of, and I just kind of spray it right there, which I can probably do right now, as you can see. And all I did is that, and I think it looks pretty good. that and let it dry. So uh, it looks pretty um, realistic I think. It's like an actual cut. Uh, I added a little blood up here 
and a little right there just for some more detail and uh, some on the back which actually kind of bled through a little bit which um see here which is okay because I can just take that off but um you know it's alright I mean it w I kind of figured it was going to happen but you know so all I'm going to do is uh, on these uh, I'm going to keep these how they are for now until maybe I end up finding some better pants uh, that are more proper colored I guess I should say Sorry, that's like really hard for some reason. So yeah, so that's what I'm waiting on. Uh, here's uh, some pictures of the um, the shirts that I plan to get and the machetes. All right, so uh, here's the things. Uh, this right here is the shirt I plan to get. Well, this is kind of a might get for my part three costume that I'm not yet working on. Um, so, well, that's just that. And then, this is green, but the picture kind of shows that it's different, but it's like a dark green. This one right here is just one of the ones I want to get. And this, and this is the part four, uh, shirt that I think looks really good. It is not short sleeve, it's long sleeve. This, it just has the things where you can pull it up. Here is one of the machetes, is the men's Walking Dead Rick Grimes machete prop. Then the Seasons Machete, which is currently unavailable, but it'll probably be back in. Because like a year ago it said it was currently unavailable, and then it got back in stock. And then I want to get this. It is $83, but, uh, you know, this is just, I'm not really focused on Part 3 right now. I just wanted to show you and tell you this just for kind of an update. And then here is the Part 6 belt, uh, Military Outdoor Clothing. It's the closest thing I could find but I'm still looking for a machete um sheaf or I guess not sheaf a holster and a knife holster and then some kind of pouch that looks uh, I guess a little at least close to what it looks like in the movie because I don't think I'd be able to find exact but all right so next thing all right so here's something I want to show for my part six um this is a cheap knife um, there, uh, maybe get, I might get a replica one, but for now, from the part six, since he has that knife, it doesn't look exact, it doesn't have the thing on the, like, the black, but it does have this, like, in the movie, but uh, I painted the handle black instead of green, and, yeah, so it looks pretty good, I think, um, one thing, though, I am having trouble with is finding a part six belt, uh, if you know anything about that, of what to do, I know what it is, it's a vintage military belt, um, I think from, I can't remember when it's from, but, uh, my friend sent me a picture of one on eBay, which I can't get on eBay because of technical reasons from some kind of password that someone else is using or something, but, uh, anyway, uh, so, if you know where I could get something similar to it or make anything similar, um, know anything about that, just tell me, put it in the comments below. Uh, please be really helpful, like extremely helpful, because that's the hardest part of a part uh, six costume is that uh, Justin Watson is going, um, already has a part six made for me. Uh, he made about eight or so of them or more, something like that, I'm pretty sure, and I'm probably just going to ask him for one with uh, some brown leather straps. And then I'm just going to use my part seven latex mask for part six. Just because it's pretty close, it has the same scars, it just doesn't look the same. You know, let's say if I do a video, take pictures, I'll never have the mask off, so it's okay. And, uh, yeah, so, uh, that's, uh, pretty much it. All I needed to go over on this, I got the pants. Uh, so for my part four so far is I have a shirt, but I want to get a different shirt. Oh, well, so I don't have a shirt, um, sorry, that's a car. Let's let that pass. Anyway, so I have, I have the, the, all I have for part four is the shoes and the uh, pants. And um, all I have for part six right now is the pants, the shirt, and the knife. And uh, 
the latex mask. So I and uh, also the glove. So I do need to get uh, going on this soon. Uh, next thing I, when I plan to order is the two shirts um, of my size, of course. But you know, so that's all I need to do. Uh, real quick, I'm going to show you my Part Four shoes. I actually just got these at Goodwill. They're pretty nice. So good luck finding them. I don't even know what kind of shoe they are, but they look like them in the movie. They're not boots because he doesn't wear boots in the uh, Part Four and Part Three. I think. Well, yeah, because uh, the action figures, they're not boots. They're more like shoes, but they're brown and kind of look like boots. So, I'll just show you those real quick. Alright, so here's something I want to show for my part six. Um, this is a cheap knife. Um, there, uh, maybe get, I might get a replica one, but for now, for my part six, since he has that knife, it doesn't look exact. It doesn't have a thing on the, like the black, but it does have this, like in the movie. But uh, I painted the handle black instead of green and yeah so it looks pretty good I think um, one thing though I am having trouble with is finding a part six belt uh, if you know anything about that of what to do I know what it is it's a vintage military belt um, I think from I can't remember when it's from but uh my friend sent me a picture of one on eBay which I can't get on eBay because of technical reasons from some kind of password that someone else is using or something but uh anyway uh so if you know where i could get something similar to it or make anything similar um know anything about that just tell me put it in the comments below uh please It'd be really helpful like extremely helpful because that's the hardest part of a part uh six costume is that uh justin watson is going um he already has a part six made for me uh, he made about eight or so of them, or more, something like that, I'm pretty sure, and I'm probably just going to ask him for one with uh, some brown leather straps, and then I'm just going to use my Part 7 latex mask for Part 6, just because it's pretty close, it has the same scars, it just doesn't look the same, you know, let's say if I do a video, take pictures, I'll never have the mask off, so, it's okay, and, uh, yeah, so, uh, that's uh, pretty much it. All I needed to go over on this. I got the pants. Uh, so for my part four so far is I have a shirt, but I want to get a different shirt. Oh, well, so I don't have a shirt. Um, sorry, that's a car. Let's let that pass. Anyway, so I have, I have the, the, all I have for part four is the shoes and the uh, pants. And, um, all I have for part six right now is the pants, the shirt, and the knife, and, uh, the latex mask, so I, and uh, also the glove, so I do need to get, uh, going on this soon. Uh, next thing, I, when I plan to order is the two shirts, um, of my size, of course, but, you know. So that's all I need to do. Uh, real quick, I'm going to show you my Part 4 shoes. I actually just got these at Goodwill. They're pretty nice. So good luck finding them. I don't even know what kind of shoe they are, but they look like them in the movie. They're not boots, because he doesn't wear boots in the uh, Part 4 and Part 3, um, I think. Well, yeah, because uh, the action figures, they're not boots. They're more like shoes, but they're brown and kind of look like boots. So I'll just show you those real quick. So back uh, here are they are. Uh, they look, they're not really like dress shoes, or, I guess they are a little bit, but, uh, that's how they look. And there's the bottoms, so I'll just, and look pretty good. They fit me, uh, perfect. They're like steel-toed or something, because, that's how it sounds when you hit. Still too. But uh they are pretty pretty nice. Uh, I think they were like twelve dollars or ten or something. I don't know, but uh just try to find your best. And actually in part six he has the same shoes. Um yeah, just pretty close. I mean for the movie they're probably not exactly the same, but uh, I'll probably use the same ones from the part six costume. Just for, you know, to make it accurate. Part 4 and Part 6 are the two costumes that I'm making look 
really accurate to the movie because they're supposed to be exactly like the movie. And then I have my uh, Zombify Jason, which is like all rotten, which I just pretty much uh, just like a part seven but beat up, or just my own version. And then just my other version that's like what how the that one looked before it was more beat up. So it's like one's like kind of not a part six. It's just my own thing. So the ones you've seen in the film. That is my made-up version of Jason right there, and uh, I'm going to have my beat-up version soon, which is pretty much a part 7, so, but it's a little different, not exactly, but I'm not done with that. I need to get a shirt for that as well. I did have a shirt, but uh got ruined, you know, because something with a fire. I tried to light it on fire, and it just went, <laughs> and burnt the whole thing and ruined it, and, well, it didn't, like, burn it, like, well, it kind of did. I, like, burnt the back, and there's sleeves a little bit of the back and you know it'd look cool if it was only partially burnt like that but I mean it does look cool it's just it won't with the costume because all it is it'd be like Jason like pretty much naked with a shirt but uh anyway like comment subscribe and hope you enjoyed the video stay tuned for more hope you enjoyed my Jeepers Creepers video hope you enjoyed that Michael Myers thing I did um and uh yeah I'll probably have some more of those Michael Myers ones because I like since I'm not going to do a film right now of Michael Myers, or, you know, I'll probably make some things where I just kind of, you know, tests of how I act like him and walk and all that. Um, so I might do some of those today and then put them on in a few days or a day or two or something. But, uh, yeah, so once again, like, comment, subscribe, and thanks for watching. And uh, I don't really have any shout-outs. I don't normally do those anyway, but, you know. So... Uh, just buy, and, uh, uh, also, also put that thing in the comments below of anything with that part six belt, and also put in the comments below, what are you going to be for Halloween this year? So put that in the comments, uh, you know, just anything, you know, it doesn't have to be horror, just whatever you want, of course, but, uh, just put it in the comments below what you want to be for Halloween, and if you have any information on part six belt, what I could do for that, just, uh, put that in the bottom too comments. So, uh, thanks for watching. Bye.